Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back. Sorry it's been a while since my last review, but some stuff's been going on, but I am back with the late with my next review. This movie review is one I just found on Netflix. Uh, it's called All American Christmas Carol. It's about this girl named Cindy. She's uh, not a, not that bit not the best mother in the world. She's uh, doesn't have a she doesn't have a job. She's got two or three kids by two or three different daddies, and she's trying to be like a better mother for her kids, and she's trying to like do her life right. So, and she's on she's interested in this guy that works at this dollar store, but uh the do the guy at the dollar store has like great potential and all this other stuff, and the guy um uh, the guy's name is Wayne. His boss is telling him that he's got like great potential. Don't go throw any life away on this girl. Do this, um, do this, do that. And Wayne is in love with us head over heels over Cindy. But uh, but one night, uh, Cindy misses her kids. Her kids play Harley. Her kid's name is Harley. She's got about three or four different kids. She's got a kid named Harley. She's got a kid named Skull. She's got a, a kid by another girl named Brent. Uh, another guy named Brandy. And she's got like a... Uh, I think she named her baby Cheese Doodle. Yeah. So, so just to give you a uh, a heads up in this story, they're in I think they I think they're like in Nevada or the desert or something. So they're it's a, it's like a country version of a it's like a redneck version of well they use that term loosely. It's like a country version of a, a Christmas Carol. So, the story's going on. She um, she misses Harley's play, and Harley is playing, of all things, uh, a Christmas Carol. She's playing. He's playing in a Christmas Carol. She misses his play, and uh, Cindy has a brother named Bob. Bob is uh, Bob Bob Cratchit. Bob's supposed to re-represent Bob Cratchit. His son's name is Tim. Her, Bob's wife's name is Margaret. Played by uh, Beverly D'Angelo, who also, if you ever seen the Goldbergs, played Beverly Goldberg. So, no way. Uh, Beverly D'Angelo played Cindy's mom. Cindy's mom, but um, um, Bob's wife is played by the woman that played Beverly Goldberg and the Goldbergs. And so the story's going on. She uh, misses the play. She gets visited by this ghost, which is this guy named Jacob, which it was a, was the, the kid's dad. One of the kid's dad. He got shot. He got shot in the eye with a paintball, and he died that way. And he basically tells her that you need to straighten up and live, start living your life right. She's like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'll be all right. And he's like, okay, I told you. I told you, but you'll, you'll be sorry. And so what he does is he sends the first... Is that night? Oh, actually, no. And so, whenever she's, whenever he's walking, she's walking down the hallway. Whenever she's walking down the hallway, uh, the first ghost pops up. Her, this girl's name is Pam. Pam was one of the uh, girls that, one of the girls that she, uh, Cindy went to school with. And so she, he tell, she tells her that I'm here to, I'm, I'm the first ghost. The first ghost takes her back to whenever she. To like one of the first uh the first time she ever met like the guy that she's interested in now, and not Wayne, but there's another guy. It's, it's actually Brandy's father. Whenever she met Brandy's father, and at this at this little trailer park party, trailer park Christmas party, she uh the her they get tore up and all this other stuff, and the ghost the ghost starts getting drunk, and. The ghost, after she gets drunk, she tells Cindy, Oh, God, I'm going to be in so much trouble. And Cindy, you're a bad person. And so Cindy w Cindy wakes up. She wakes up to Harley telling her that, that uh, she wakes up to Harley telling her that a lady from Child Services is there. And so she tries to, try to, she tries, actually, no, 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 go back. We're going back a little bit. Um, whenever the ghost of Christmas past took uh took Cindy back, she they shows her like different things like whenever she met first met the uh Brandy's dad, the parents leave uh the dad leaving 
the um, Bob becoming the man of the house, and that's it. So fast forward and fast forward and end the story. And so um, they go to the. They try to fool the. Uh, they try to fool the social worker from the Department of Silver Services, and she just basically tells her that um, Cindy's basically unfit to be a parent. And so Cindy, so that opens up Cindy's eyes a little bit. And then the next thing we see is old. Uh, she's going in the dollar. She's going in the dollar store where Wayne works at, and Wayne is uh, trying to get like an advancement so he can buy Cindy something nice. And um, and the and the boss is uh, is played by the guy that played Mickey in Seinfeld. I really don't know his name, but uh, he he keeps on telling her that he keeps on telling Wayne that he's being he's being stupid, stupid, stupid for going after this girl and throwing his life away. And so the movie's going on. She she runs into the, the second ghost, which is this rock god named rock idol named Constantine, or Constantine or something like that. And he basically takes her to the same trailer park where he's like, oh, she's like, okay, I seen this, I seen this already. And he says, take a closer look. And so he, she takes a closer look. And she sees that uh, the dude the dude that uh, she was ha she was fooling around with is there with another girl. And that Brandy is uh, at the party too getting wasted and plastered and all this. The girl's only 16. And so the, uh, and then this starts opening her eyes up a little bit more. And so she he keeps on going forward. And she sees that uh, he sees that Harley has taken a job at um at the dollar store to help pay for the bills because he somebody has to pay in his in his opinion somebody has to pay for these bills and so this is opening up her eyes and all this other stuff and then the ghost uh then the ghost like just leaves her and she says wait when did you start getting a job here and it's like Cindy where'd you come and he's like Cindy mom where'd you come from. And they're like, I was just in the neighborhood. Um, and so he sees that she's got a job there. And bought, and they just uh, sell her. It's like, just get out of here. Have a Merry Christmas. And so Cindy's just like doing like some more search. Some more searching and all this other stuff. And so the movie's going on. And while and while this is going on, uh, she gets visited by the third ghost, which is supposed to be like the ghost of future path. Uh, is ghost of future. But it's actually her mom, Beverly Dean. Um, uh, it's actually her mom, like telling her the future, saying that she's gonna die. Um, everybody's gonna be like more. Everybody's like all messed up. Uh, Bob divorced his wife. Um, Timmy got shot. Her her kid went to jail. Brandy did off doing this, and she like just she's like. Uh, Harley, I'm a good mom, right? I'm a good mom, right? And then he's like, and then she wakes up. She's like, and he's like, Mom, Mom, are you okay? And he's like, Harley, I'm a good mom, right? And he's like, Mom, I love you. And I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, I got a little bit emotional here in this part. Whew. Okay, rolling. He's like, Mom, you're a good kid. He's like, Harley, you're a good kid, and do what your mama says, go to bed. And so she she's about to she what she does is she like goes around leaving all these all these people uh like different notes leaving Bob a note leaving the kids a note leaving Margaret um uh, leaving Margaret a note leaving Wayne a note leaving everybody a note and so that um what she does is she goes to everybody leaves everybody a note and everybody shows up at the mom's hair hair salon. And she says, uh, and everybody showing up at the hair salon, and they open the door, and Mark, uh, Cindy opens the door and said, Merry Christmas, Daryl. Uh, what, what Cindy did is she bought the hair salon, and she, uh, gave, gave her, uh, son, nephew Timmy this, like, really badass hairdo, hairdo, slick back hairdo looking thing, and these glasses. 
And so the movie ends with everybody wrapping up, having a nice time, having a Merry Christmas. Cindy's making up with Margaret. Um, Bob's getting a backbone, going into business with his sister, going into the hair salon business with his sister. Um, and she's, she, in the end, she ends up telling Wayne, like, Wayne, I can't marry you. It's been real. Um, uh, even, and I can't marry you. It's been real. But your future is not with me. It's with somebody else. There's somebody else out there. Because she finally realized that she was holding Wayne back from his true potential. And that's pretty much where the movie ends. Everybody has a Merry Christmas. She uh, gets more connected with her kids and take, uh, gets her stepdaughter to be uh, gets her stepdaughter to be uh, more of a more of a lady than what she actually was. So yeah, this was actually a pretty decent movie. I am the review man. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a merry Christmas, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.